Nestled along the shores of Horseshoe Lake in Arkansas lies a mansion with a chilling past. This is the Snowden House, a place once known for its beauty, now overshadowed by a story of betrayal and murder. Welcome back to The Staircase. Today we delve into the tragic story of Martha McKay, a beloved member of the Snowden family whose life was brutally cut short in a place that she called home. But this story is not just about one murder, but a chilling connection to another tragedy from 23 years earlier. The Snowden family was well known in the Horseshoe Lake community. The family home, Snowden House, stood as a landmark hosting weddings and events and was a symbol of their deep roots in the area. It was a place where joyous celebrations and community gatherings took place, creating memories that many cherished. But in 1996, the family's peaceful life was shattered. On September 10th, 1996, Sally McKay, Martha's mother, and her cousin Lee Baker were brutally murdered in the Snowden house. A 16-year-old named Travis Lewis was arrested and later confessed to the crime. He was sentenced to 28 years in prison. The community was stunned. The motive was believed to be robbery. But the pain of losing Sally and Lee was unimaginable. For Martha McKay, this was the beginning of a nightmare that would haunt her for the rest of her life. Despite the gravity of his crime, Travis Lewis was granted parole after serving 23 years. In 2018, he was released, and incredibly, Martha McKay extended an olive branch. Believing in redemption, she gave Travis a job, hoping to help him rebuild his life. Martha's act of forgiveness was nothing short of remarkable, as it's something most people wouldn't be able to do. She allowed Travis, the man who murdered her mother, to work at the Snowden house, a place he had once desecrated. But this act of compassion would soon lead to another tragedy. On March 25th, 2020, Martha McKay was found brutally murdered in the Snowden house. Once again, the community was in shock and the story took a disturbing turn. The suspect was none other than Travis Lewis. Police discovered Martha's lifeless body and quickly identified Travis as the assailant. When confronted by police, he fled, jumping into the lake in a desperate attempt to escape. But his flight ended his life as he drowned in the waters of Horseshoe Lake. It was a tragic end for both Martha and Travis. The community mourned the loss of a woman who has shown incredible kindness and the sad irony that her compassion had led to her demise. Martha McKay was remembered as a generous and loving person. Her death left a void in the hearts of many and the Snowden House now stands as a silent witness to the darkness that engulfed it. The story of Martha McKay is a poignant reminder of the complexities of forgiveness and the unpredictability of human nature. Her life, marked by a tragedy, also served as a testament to the strength of compassion even in the face of unimaginable betrayal. As the sun sets on Horseshoe Lake, the Snowden House still stands, a monument to both the beauty and the darkness that has shaped its history. Thank you for joining us on The Staircase. Now before I go, I have an announcement to make. I'm currently working on a documentary for the next upload. We do a new video every two weeks. However, this next video is taking a little bit more time because it's complex and a full documentary instead of just a video. Therefore, the next upload will be delayed until October 2nd. Be sure to subscribe and hit the like button as well as the notification bell so you'll be notified as soon as that's up as well as the trailers that are coming soon. Thank you guys and I'll see you next time on The Staircase.